What's up America, Tony from The Real American Outdoors here and today we're going to be going over our top five lures for spring bass fishing. All right, so starting at number five, we have a tie between a rattle trap or a crankbait. Obviously the crankbait's going to depend on what uh, where you are in the water column and what part of the country you're in, but in southeast Wisconsin we like our mid to shallow diving crankbait, so we have a Rapala DT, I believe this is a DT-10, and then we just have the uh, standard half ounce chili crawl rattle trap, so that is a tie at number five. All right, so number four, we have the good old fashioned spinner bait. I prefer double willows. Uh, in terms of color, um, I like white and chartreuse in the spring, more of your brighter colors. Uh, not necessarily huge bla blades because obviously your bait fish are probably gonna be a little smaller. So uh, number four, spinner bait, half ounce. Uh, you, depending on what's uh, where you're on the water column, you can use a quarter, three eighths, or even up to three quarters. So uh, versatile bait, love fishing, especially on sunny days and when you know the sun's beating off the the blades here. So number four, spinner bait. All right, and coming at number three, we have the swim jig. I know a lot of people like more red colors when it when it comes to you know jig jig presentation in the spring. I prefer more natural bluegill, perch, watermelon. Uh, colors so I usually use a watermelon uh, or bluegill style jig skirt with kind of a watermelon red uh, trailer so if you watch our challenge tour video number two this is the setup I used at Beulah to win that challenge so had success on this in the springtime especially in this part of the country late April early May so coming at number three is a swim jig all right coming at number two is the jerk bait which is a great cold water bait at any part of the country um, I prefer suspending jerk baits, I pr and I also like to match the hatch uh, of the bait fish I'm trying to imitate. So around here we have a lot of the gizzard American shad style of bait. Um, if you want to use like a bluegill or perch, we have a lot of the panfish stuff too. So obviously if you live down south and we're by a herring lake, you'd want to use more of a blueback herring. And if you want kind of more of a generic color, I like the blue chrome with the orange bellies for the jerk bait. Uh, caught many fish on that color as well. Just remember, you're dealing with a lot more colder water in the springtime, so you're not going to want to, uh, in terms of your cadence, coming back to the boat, you're going to want to go more slow, emphasis on the pause as opposed to more of the jerking motion, but the fish will tell you the cadence you want to use for these. So coming at number two is the jerk bait. All right, coming at number one shouldn't be a surprise if you've seen a lot of our videos. This is the chatterbait or the vibrating jig. Um, in terms of color, I prefer white and chartreuse, but I've caught fish off the all white, the all chartreuse, red, June bug, uh, bluegill, green pumpkin, doesn't really matter. Um, I prefer the split tail trailers, the Elastec ones, but you can also use various types of paddle tail swim bait trailers or the Rage Cross as well. You know, we like our Rage Cross around here too. So um, very versatile bait. I like how it has the vibrating motion, but also that swim jig profile. So not a surprise. Number one is the chatterbait. So thanks for watching this video. Just a quick recap. Number five is the crankbait and the rattle trap and the tie. Number four, we have the spinnerbait. Three, the swim jig. Two, the jerkbait. And number one, we have the vibrating jig or the chatterbait. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Real American Outdoors and Tourney X for the American Fishing Challenge that's starting up in May. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.